Two popular dividend-focused ETFs are the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF, SCHD, and the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, VYM. Let's compare them. First, note that I don't chase dividends, but I recognize that many investors use dividends to supplement their current income, particularly in retirement. Others just irrationally prefer dividend-paying stocks. In any case, these two high-yield funds are very popular and take a somewhat different approach. Here, we'll review these dividend ETFs and explore the differences between them. SCHD is the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF. It tracks the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index. This index is comprised of 100 stocks with at least 10 consecutive years of dividend payments and a minimum market cap of $500 million. Stocks are then selected for the index by screening for high yield, profitability metrics, and five-year dividend growth, excluding REITs. Individual companies are capped at 4% and sectors at 25%. The Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF VYM seeks to track the FTSE High Dividend Yield Index. Its process is pretty simple. Constituent stocks are taken from the FTSE All World Index, excluding REITs and ranked by forecasted dividend yield, after which the top half are selected for inclusion. As such, VYM's selection methodology is much more loose than SCHD's. SCHD is much more stringent in buying what it believes to be high-quality companies with robust profitability and a sustainable dividend. Because of this, note that SCHD only has about 100 holdings, while VYM has a little over 400. Because of this, as we'd probably expect, VYM has slightly more loading on value value, but much lower exposure to profitability. Essentially, SCHD is capturing more profitable companies, but VYM is capturing comparatively cheaper companies. Average market cap and exposure to the investment factor are roughly equal. As we'd also probably expect, SCHD has higher ESG or SRI scores, if you care about that sort of thing. Dividend yield is similar between these two funds, with SCHDs being slightly higher by about a quarter of a percent at the time of this video. Now let's look at the sector composition of SCHD versus VYM. VYM. Notice how SCHD has zero or low exposure to utilities, telecom, and energy. These sectors are notorious for high dividends, but relatively weak profitability, which is why SCHD's screens exclude them, but VYM still holds them. Both SCHD and VYM are highly liquid and have the same low expense ratio of six basis points. Here's a performance backtest of these two funds going back to SCHD's inception in 2011. SCHD has delivered substantially greater returns than VYM over this relatively short time period, with roughly the same volatility and a slightly smaller max drawdown. Consequently, SCHD delivered a much higher risk-adjusted return. In fairness, the value factor has suffered greatly over precisely the back-tested time period. But the small difference in value loading between these funds wouldn't fully explain the difference in Kager. The max drawdown was the March 2020 crash, from which SCHD shot out of the hole much faster than VYM. SCHD's recovery time was roughly half that of VYM's. I created a dividend-focused portfolio that incorporates both of these funds that I'll provide a link to in the description. But remember what I noted in my comparison of VIG and VYM. Vanguard themselves investigated the strategies of funds like these and concluded that their constituent stock's performance was fully explained by their exposure to known equity factors like value, profitability, etc. So if you don't care about using dividends as income, you may be better off in terms of total return by simply investing in products that specifically target those factors, like a small cap value fund. Do you hold either of these ETFs in your portfolio? Let me know in the comments.